Hello there, this is Richard Spirit's Guide presenting Dodon Patch Resurrection, and this is on the Xbox 360. We're playing version 1.5 here. Um, there's a few different versions on the disc. I'm going to go straight into it. I've edited out all the nonsense at the beginning. Isn't that nice of me? You've got your three different ships there. You've got your uh, narrow beam, you kind of wide beam, and in the middle you've got like a 50 50 narrow wide beam spaceship. And you've got different types of focus for your weaponry. We've got pre-rendered graphics, uh, not great looking pre-rendered graphics it has to be said, they're okay. Um, you've got so many lasers that you can't see the background at any point whatsoever, so it's almost pointless them drawing the background. There's apparently some sort of motorway below there, but not that you'd be able to tell. Um, if you've played Dodon Patch, or Don Patch, this will be familiar to you, although the weaponry has been ramped up to the nth degree. Uh, you've got your beam weapon, you've got your rapid fire thing, which we're using here. You've got your bombs, you've got your tokens to collect. Uh, you can fire your beam and then press a bomb and you get a chunky, super chunky beam. You've also got um, this move here, this green bullet thing, which soaks up the enemy bullets and turns them into medals. So that's a new thing um, for this release. Um, you've got several levels to go through, and you have to use your thick beam quite a bit throughout them, um, not just to destroy the bosses. So the previous kind of Don Patch and Don on Patch, you used your thick laser main in the bosses, well I did anyway. And here, um, you've got gun emplacements that fire like a uh, sort of pinky thing at you, and the only way to get rid of them is to use your thick laser. So you, it's kind of like um, uh, it's kind of like G Darius, where the boss fires like a big laser out of his gob, and you have to use your beam to combat it. You've got that thing going on. Um, also, in this, you've got bosses that transform into giant robot women, which is fairly odd. Uh, there's a bit of a story going on, um, something to do with kind of time travel. Um, if you uh, fit criteria in the level, there's a point where the screen sort of shakes enough. You get a boss from one of the previous games that appears. You can take them on. Um, so I haven't played this game for a, for a few years now, and um, I remember you can get on this level. I think it's the boss from. I think it's the third level Don Patch that appears. It's like there's like a time traveling thing when they kind of pop through time and um, for extra points and um, fan servers up there. Um, yeah, you get like bosses from previous games that pop up halfway through levels if you do enough damage. I think. Not quite sure what triggers it. Um, I'm sure if I read the instructions, it would tell me. But um, I like to work these, try and work these things out myself. Um, the easiest one to trigger is actually on the third level. Um, you can kind of reliably trigger that one, but the, um, here is where another boss kind of appears. If you destroy this, or will make enough points, I guess, on this boss. You can get one that appears here. Um, yeah, die, it's supposed to be that. So you've got your popcorn enemies that just uh, take one shot to kill and they flip the screen. Uh, you've got a small, smallish hitbox. Um, I'm making this game look harder than it actually is. Um, this is pretty easy actually. It's just I'm out of practice. So you can do this game on one credit after not a lot of practice. Not that you'd do it um, with maximum scores or the most efficient way. But you can, it is fairly easy to survive the game at one credit. Um, on easy mode, um, definitely. And um, oh, you've got the little bees that you can collect as well. Uh, if, if, they, if they're the right colour, they give them the points. If they're the wrong colour, they. I don't know what they do. Maybe that's, re maybe that's related to the boss's appearance. I don't know. I don't know. All these questions I could have answered uh, by uh, doing some research, but I just like playing the game, so uh, yeah. Sue me. Don't see me, I haven't got any money. Um, this game is about uh, 20 English quid when I bought it, and that's 20 English pounds. 
Um, uh, I don't really think it's much more than that now. You will be able to find this in, on, online. It's kind of always online. Um, no, it's a rare game. Um, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll have a Google and see how much it is. Uh, uh, stick that in the comments. I, I'd be surprised if it's much more than 20 quid now. But most Xbox 360 games are pretty damn cheap. Um, this is a fun game. I do recommend this game. Um, graphically, it's just really, really messy. And the uh, pre-rendered graphics aren't to my taste. The music is kind of forgettable in that Japanese kind of broker's forgettable way. Bit of slap bass there though. We all like a bit of slap bass. But, um, what else have we got going on? This background's awful. Um, I think you're supposed to be flying uh, a thousand feet above the city, but it looks like you're flying about two foot above a photograph of the city. Awful. Um, let's see if I can make the uh, the dude appear from the past. Depending on how well you do, you get a different ending. So there's a shady guy that appears at the end of the game. Spoilers! And um, he he's either kind of um, old school, digitally corrupted, and uh, you can't really see him. He's kind of shady, and he sort of says. That's the end of the mission, and um, the better that you, the better you do, the more clear he is in the transmission, and then he goes and sends you off on another mission eventually. Uh, so, yeah, it's fairly easy to get to, but this is just madness. Here's the pink beams. You've seen the pink beams before, but you have to shoot these pink beams. You can't, like, they come and, like, touch you. They're, like, predatory pink beams that want to feel your ship up. The only way to get them off you is by slapping them back with your wide column of laser and um, there's you know like enemies firing a billion things at you at the same time so uh, it actually looks really stressful but it's not that hard I, mean, I didn't get the thing to appear there it should, would have appeared somewhere there uh, if I'd have um, not died or whatever and done the right thing Bit, quite a fair bit of slowdown on this, but um, don't mind that so much, it kind of helps you out really. You've got a bit of a score multiplier there, which is um, easier to uh, fill up than it is on the uh, Don Patch or Do Don Patch. Um, over a thousand is quite easy to get, I think, from what I remember. Um, you've got a thing there where if you've got bombs and you get hit, uh, it launches a bomb rather than kills you, which is a nice little mechanic they have in. Um, do they have that in Don Patch? They definitely have that in one of the other cave shooters I've played. Yeah, it's an enjoyable game. Um, it's just a bit of a mess visually. Um, you just can't see anything. You're concentrating very much on your hitbox and uh, get in the zone. You get in the zone and you have to uh, concentrate really hard. But the slowdown does help you a little bit. I, like I said, I am making this look harder than it actually is, so that's um, that's good. Another transforming robot woman. Uh, yeah, recommended. Recommended. Uh, this is the PAL version, not PAL machine. I don't know uh, if the Japanese one's any different. I don't know if it's region free. Some Xbox 360 games are region free. But you should be able to find this one fairly easy. In fact, I'm going to go online now and I'm going to find out how much this game is. Bear with me. Yeah, it's uh, between 20 and 40 quid, depending on which scalp you buy it from. Um, and there's also, uh, and I forgot this, there is another disc in the box, and uh, it's got a uh, soundtrack on it. Um, so there we go. There we go, it's 20 quid. What, uh, what more can I say, apart from uh, go out and get it? 
um, if you like your shoot 'em ups. Um, it is. It doesn't come across well in the video because it's just so messy. You can't really see what's going on. But playing it, um, it is. Uh, it is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And um, don't make them like this anymore. Well, they do, but um, not over here, unfortunately. It's still waiting for that Raiden 5 to hit on the old Xbox One. It's never going to happen, is it? I wonder if that's going to come out on Switch. Anyway. Great game. Great game. And uh, recommended. And it's 20 quid. So, uh, you'll have fun if you like shoot ups. I guess, yeah, that's the only caveat, really. It is a shooty, shooty, shooty game. And if you don't like the shooty, shooty, shooty games, uh, why are you watching this video? Uh, oh look, here's a boss from uh, Don Patch, like a mid-level boss. Uh, yeah. It's not really a jumping in point if you've never played a shoot 'em up before. That's for sure. Um, with its crazy ass rules. Anyway. Have a nice day. And uh, go and get yourself a copy of this. Don't pay more than 20 quid for it though. Ta-ra!